Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another vlog and welcome to an unedited one. When you guys are seeing this, we are in Texas for my sister's wedding. So I am doing unedited so it's quick and easy for me. And honestly, I like to do these like once a month. I feel like it gets me in this not overthinking groove while I'm filming when I start to feel like a certain type of way where I'm like, yeah, just overthinking my content. This kind of is like a good reset for me because it's like not everything has to be like super choppy and um, super thought out. And sometimes it's good to just chat. So um, today it's Sunday and we have a really fun day. We are going to our wedding venue for the first time since we booked it. They are having an event where there's going to be a bunch of vendors there. We're going to get to see, like, we're going to get to meet our wedding planner for the first time in person. We've only talked on the phone. And then we're going to get to see um, the, like, coordinator that we booked it with and everything. So I'm excited. Uh, the last big thing in our list on our list is a florist. So I'm hoping to maybe connect with one there that is a recommended vendor because if it's a recommended vendor they feed them for free <laughs> and also they're like familiar you know with the venue and working with them and stuff so I feel like that would be even better so yeah that's what we're gonna go do today they're gonna have some little food tastings which we have not tasted their food yet so I'm really excited for that too um and yeah just do a little wedding activity so I went to Zuma this morning, got a nice car wash, and I washed my hair, so I have a fresh blowout. It's very uh, voluminous right now, but it'll fall. And then let me show you my little outfit. So this is a little baby tee from Abercrombie. I went like comfy cute cash because it is a beautiful spring day, so I'm like, let me bring out the linen and the denim jacket. Um, these linen pants are from Amazon. I love them. They're men's, but... They work for me, they're not even too long either, and I am only 5'1", I'm very short. And then I also am breaking out again, I only wore these once before, but these are the sneakers that I got for our Europe trip because they're supposed to be really comfortable, they're Dr. Scholl's, and they're like cute, you know? They don't look like an athletic running sneaker. So I decided to wear those today. I already got them kind of dirty anyway, so whatever, it's fine. We'll clean them before we go on our trip. And then this denim jacket, it's like cropped in the front, a little bit longer in the back. It's from, <laughs> where's this from? This is from um, Vici. I'm pretty sure it's from Vici, yeah. If it's not, I'll put the right link down below. My coach bag, little sunnies from Amazon, and also these earrings are from Amazon too. Broke these out for the first time, because I'm like, wearing a pretty simple outfit. Let me do a fun little earring. I think they're fun, right? You know I love a big hoop and then that little line in the middle is just funsies. So that is the plan for right now. And yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day. Spring vibes are in the air. The weather is becoming so much warmer. So the seasonal depression. She's leaving. The messy headedness is leaving. We're doing good. So, um, yeah, I'm just excited to do an unedited vlog and hang out with you guys. So, we're gonna start heading over there right now. Let's do it. All right, we are almost here. Zayn and I are in our denim jackets because hey. it's springtime. And it's just so nice, like driving over here, I'm getting all the feels. Like, I'm like, oh, this is what we're gonna feel like in a couple of months when we're driving up to our venue like we're gonna be getting all the little butterflies like and this I'm like this is what people are gonna see when they're driving up to our venue it's just I'm getting all the little feels I'm so excited and I'm hungry I cannot wait to try all the food it's gonna be so much fun Yay. yes yes thank you so much on your way up take a look I just realized the entrance it says crystal at the top which is my sister's name not spelt the same but similar we have a piano player how beautiful. So I told you guys we were looking for a florist today and last time we came, it was actually, it was dead of winter just like it is today, but they didn't have anything set up outside. So now today we get to see um, a florist that works with them set up some stuff over here. So now we get to see what it would look like if weather permitting, we do our um, ceremony outside and all the trees will be bloomed better. Okay, Zane is taking a bathroom break. Now we're outside. <gasps> 
So I love this place. I love I'm it. I'm so happy we chose love it. it. Love it, love it, love it. Coming back the second time. I'm I like, know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So nice. And we didn't get to see this. Yeah, this wasn't set up last time. You're right. But obviously in October, everything will be bloomed and beautiful. And this is just an example. I, I don't love that. I would want it to be all the way around. Mm. I don't love the stopping. You know? I hear you. And I kind these of would like... Cool, these are cool. I kind of would like a little bit of like a... Kind of like a stage. A stage? I was thinking that yeah, too. Yeah, I kind of pictured that. So, we'll see. I like the white chairs though. I like the fountain in the back. That's nice. Oh, it's gonna look so nice in the uh, in the fall time. Yeah, in the fall. The That's what stuff. I'm thinking too, cause like mm, the outside of the building isn't that pretty. So like when these are all bloomed, you wouldn't be able to see it that much probably. Right. Or maybe we could do like a thing where we put like a curtain or some sort. A curtain? You know what I mean? <laughs> no. Like some sort of barrier? Or maybe like, like a floral barrier maybe of some sort. I don't know, we'll see. But this is really pretty. But I definitely want something more greenery. Like with white, but greenery, and then all the way, big arch. Not like this, just the semicircles. Would you agree? You know me, I'm indifferent. If Zane said in the want, car, Zane said in the I'm car, bad. this is your day, babe. Yep. I'm here for the ride. If this is what you wanted, I've been like, I'm there. Aww. If you want the, the circle with the more green, I'm also yeah, there. I appreciate that. Of course. Aww. That's just the way I feel though. Like I feel like, I was telling Liz in the car, I'm uh -huh. like, this is, some of you guys are gonna laugh at me, but I'm like, this is just like a fancy house party. Like, <laughs> You're so silly. Like, I said, and that's why I'm planning it. All of my, fa like my loved ones, uh -huh. friends, family, like everyone's gonna be there. Yeah. We're gonna be dressed up nice. Yeah. And like, we're gonna just be having a great time. Yeah. Like, celebrating our love. So it's like, I'm not overthinking it. You know I get I mean? it. I mean, I'm not overthinking it either, but. No, but for you, it's, I'm The saying, details matter more to me. Exactly. Whereas. As they should. Right. But I feel like, yeah, Zane's like, it's just going to be a fun party. It's going to be one fun night. And I'm like, this is our wedding. So, I mean, obviously he's helping with stuff, but I'm definitely more paying attention to the details. But this is where yeah, we'll I'm, be. I'm just letting you. Letting me rock. Yes, yeah. exactly. I'm not like challenging you. Like, oh, but you're speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mwah. This is where we're going to be in a few months. Awesome. Getting married, saying I do. If the, if the weather permits. If not, we'll have to go inside. But usually every year. On, nice. Yeah, it's always nice. So I think October is gonna be beautiful here. Um, but yeah, I can't believe it. There's not one thing. Like, is there one thing that you're like set? I can't think. I don't think there is one thing that you're like. No, we must do this. I wanted the venue to be nice. Yeah, but we like were, like, agree on that. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that was the one thing where I'm like. I want that to be nice. And now that we got yeah. that, everything else, I'm kind of like... Yeah. Oh, I would say the only one thing was I said no kids at all. And we did like a few kids on your side of the family. Oh, yeah. Because I got like my little cousins and stuff. Yeah. 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 But other than that, we're not doing any kids. Just like the very important, close family member children. Um, but yeah, crazy. I can't believe we're going to be here getting married. I love it here. I love it here too. I'm so excited. It's gonna be beautiful. We could like line this too and do like a runway, like a white runway. Runway but, for sure. Yeah. And I, yeah, I think we should do a stage too. And then like put like little flowers on the chairs too. But they said they have a lot of florists, like really cool florists here yeah, to chat to. So I'm excited. We're gonna find one today for yeah, sure. Yeah. Is that, uh... How fun. This is the reception room. Amazing. Prosciutto! <laughs> Look at all the prosciutto! <laughs> this is, yeah, this is all for us. Gabagool! Yeah, it's for us to try it all. And look over here. Sushi! My favorite! What? Did we get it for We picked, we picked stuff. Yeah! We could pick sushi, we could pick all this stuff. You wanna try it? Yes. This is our after party space. I love coming in and seeing everything again. We're having so much fun. <laughs> it's this so fun. So sick. It's so fun. We'll fill you guys in when we get in the car, but we're just taking one more little loop around. Oh, Jolo just texted me. Oh, she's not here. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, that's okay. At least we tried. Um, yeah, so exciting. Ah! I love it here. Good vibes, good vibes. Everyone's good vibes. 
All right, the valet is getting the car right now. We're obsessed, we're so happy, we had a great time, and we'll tell you all about it when we leave. All righty, we left the event. That was literally, honestly, exceeded my expectations. Did it exceed yours? Yeah, it was right? more fun than I thought, for sure. Yeah, same. It was so much fun. It was so cool to talk to everyone in person. Our DJ company that we booked really long time ago, a few months ago now, actually a good amount of months ago now, we vlogged the whole thing. I have a wedding playlist on my YouTube channel if you guys want to see all of that, but literally I put like pretty much the whole entire meeting. I just took out like the personal info with our DJ and we got to meet the guy that's actually going to be our DJ and it was so nice to just chat with him in person and have him just like run us through like how the whole day is gonna go and how they come in and set everything up. We talked to an officiant that we're pretty happy with, so we're probably gonna go with that company. And then we also found a florist that we're really happy with. So I feel like that was the last two big things that were on our list. And I don't know, it's so nice to just talk to them. And, and the officiant literally was like, well, here's what I'm gonna say. Da -da -da -da. And gave us like this whole speech of like what he would say to our whole ceremony audience with like, he had this really cool rule because he was we were talking about like um, a phones free ceremony what did he call it he said called it something else unplugged unplugged yes i love that and i was like yeah i've seen like i was thinking about doing like you know here's 30 seconds take your pictures and then put them away he's like that's great but we do this thing where um like he does a speech in the beginning hey zane and Alyssa would really appreciate if we unplugged for a bit and then at the end when we're gonna do our first kiss then that's when people can take pictures because photographers are taking pictures of us and you're not going to get all the people in the background with their phones up and i was like that's so smart and so genius but he's like don't worry we say it in a way that really no one is going to bring their phone up during the ceremony which it's all our close friends and family so i don't think that they would but yeah i just feel like very confident after talking to these vendors i loved the florist too and also the main thing that i loved about the florist was i've heard people say that they won't reuse the stuff if you do an outdoor ceremony they won't have time to like bring the flowers inside and you have to like pay double to have flowers in the venue too he was like no we reuse everything literally like um your bouquets or he was saying like bridesmaids too which i'm not doing bridesmaids but he was like we'll take those and use them like on your table i was like that is amazing because he's like we have a whole hour of cocktail hour to move everything inside i would never just waste those i'm not gonna leave them outside so I just feel really confident after talking to everyone. It's so exciting. We met our wedding planner too, and she was the sweetest. We met the marketing manager for there. So it's just really nice to like put faces to names and it feels like a little community. Like I'm already sad for when our wedding's over. We're just never gonna connect with them again. <laughs> but like, uh, that's me getting attached. So anywho, it was so much fun. It was so nice and we didn't really eat much, to be honest. We had a little bit of charcuterie and I had a few pieces of sushi and that was it. We didn't even try the cake. I wanted to try the cake, damn it. Did they have cake samples? They had a cake. I didn't see it cut up though, so I thought maybe it was just for Oh, decor. she was cutting little slivers. Oh, was she? Yeah. That's fine, we had to do our cake tasting anyway. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we didn't eat much, but right now we are heading to Costco because Ever's birthday is coming up, Zane's stepdad. It's coming up this week, but we're starting to prep and leave. Like my parents are gonna be gone for my sister's wedding. They're going earlier than us. Um, so we're celebrating his birthday tonight and his request was Zane to make ribeyes. So we're heading to Costco and we're gonna get a bunch of ribeyes. I need a lipstick refresh. Hold on, I'm gonna stop this for a second so I can <laughs> look better. Okay, back in business, so much better. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so yeah, so Ever requested ribeyes and we were like, we can do them at our house and uh, that's gonna be our gift for him. We're treating everyone to ribeyes um, because we have the Blackstone Grill. So we're like, it's a lot of us. It's so much easier to just cook them on the Blackstone Grill, which it is raining a little bit. So hopefully this holds up, but I find know Zane, he will go out there in his jacket and yeah. make them on the grill it's anyway. Yeah, it's not Because otherwise, a big deal. like, how are we gonna make them all? That's we have the the grill pan, and that fits about four of them. But also, it's kind of like a non-stick surface, and that's not the yeah. greatest for making ribeyes. Yeah, we'll just do them on the grill outside. Yeah, I don't mind. Um, it was gorgeous today, and now it turned to shit when we walked out of the venue. Ah, careful. Yeah, hopefully the rain stops. Yeah, I hope the rain slows up a little bit. But 
Yeah, so we're gonna get ribeyes at Costco. My mom's bringing mac and cheese. Jerry's bringing the cake and dessert. And we'll probably have like a cocktail. Maybe have some wine. Maybe it's a wine night. And yeah, we're just gonna hang out with the fam and celebrate Ever's birthday with everyone. And that's gonna be our rest of our Sunday. So what a great day. That was so good. I loved it. My heart is like full. I get like so excited. I get like, um, when I go around certain like, for example, like a concert or something like this, I get like inspired and I'm like, oh my God, I want to work in the wedding industry. <laughs> or like, I'm like, I could be a singer, like no. But every time I put myself in situations where I get inspired, I like feel like I could see myself doing that thing because I'm around so many passionate people that it inspires me. But I don't know, does anyone else feel that way? Now I'm ranting because I had a martini. Goodbye, we'll see you at Costco. Oh, your mother's <laughs> your mother's ass. Oh my god. I was about to complain and someone came up. That's embarrassing. Okay. Okay. Here he is. He's got the Costco card. We came for ribeyes, but more importantly, we need a bread restock. Miss my bread. Check. What do we think? Got some good marbling over here. Oh, they have a ton of them. Iconique. We need nine. That's unfortunate. We're gonna have to get, you think that it, they don't, I oh know, we're at Costco, they don't sell individuals. Oh, we could freeze them though. We can always have them, no? Yeah. Okay, we'll get three packs four, four, then. and then two. Oh yeah, you can get a three packer. All right. But it's the same weight, no? It's just. Yeah, they're cut so much smaller. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> Iconic. All right, back at home. Everyone's gonna come over in like 15 minutes, so I'm gonna do a quick uh, tidy up because I started to do my Sunday cleaning yesterday so that I didn't have to do too much today, but I do need to unload the dishwasher and get it reloaded. So I'm gonna do that quick before they come. Ready? One, two, three. Well done, All right, Vito. check it out. Vito. Mom brought Velveeta. Zane's finishing up the steaks. I'll show you when they're all ready. <gasps> I forgot to do my after of the clean kitchen. Whoopsies, after. <laughs> wow, look at that. Zane killed that. Yeah. yeah, birthday boy, your choice. Which one you want, bro? to you. Are you dose? Are you dose? Right. Are you? Yeah. Woo! Thank you. Eat a eat a friend. 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 Wait, We're playing the chameleon where you have to hide whoever's lying about something on their card. And this time, wait, hold on. This time, it was food, so we're trying to figure out who was lying about their hint, because it was pizza. So we're trying to see, everyone's debating on who it was. Zane gave them a chopstick to stir their coffee. A chopstick. That's what you get here. Listen, it works, it works. Good morning, happy Monday. We had such a fun night last night as a family. We played Chameleon. It's so much fun. Basically, everyone gets a card and someone is like the odd man out. Like it's called the Chameleon and you have to try to like blend in like a Chameleon would. And you get like this word on a card. I'll make a really long story short because who wants to listen to game instructions? You know those like memes or like TikToks where you're like when someone's telling you game instructions and you're just like, okay, let's just start. Um, Everyone knows what the word is, but one person doesn't. And they try to blend in and like give a hint to the word, but they don't know what word it is. So it's a lot of fun. Highly recommend. I'll, it's on my Amazon store if you guys want to try it. But anyways, it's Monday. I just got off the phone with my new insurance and submitted my first payment, which is really painful as someone who is self-employed. It's so expensive. I don't know how it is in other states, but in New York, when you're self-employed, it is literally wild wild like you can't if you want like decent insurance it's over a thousand dollars a month i'm like that is like mostly someone's rent somewhere not here rent here is like twenty eight hundred dollars for a two-bedroom but still um anyways yeah so that was like a little painful i think i've been putting it off because i'm like uh 
and I'm like, should I go down to a lesser plan? But I was on my dad's insurance that was so good. And I'm like, I really just want the same benefits. I don't want a horrible deductible and stuff. And um, so yeah, I didn't want to get anything that I would like settle for. I don't really go to the doctor that much, but with like the gyno and therapy and keeping all of that, that was like important to me. Um, so I like kept the same company that I was with on uh, like the same insurance company that I was on my dad's plan. Um, just so I can make sure that I keep all my doctors and stuff. Unfortunately, it doesn't start until the first of next month. So I had to like put a pause on therapy until then, which is totally fine. Um, girl is doing good. So that's looking up, but I just let her know. And, um, she was so sweet. She offered me a discount for an out of pocket if I need it up until when my new insurance starts. So that was really sweet of her. So um, that's what I did today. What else have I been doing? I'm like setting up podcast footage. We are about to try on. I got this from Amazon. I actually forgot to order it. And then when I was editing my vlog back, I was like, oh, I need to do that. I want to send in my selects for the brand that I'm working with for Zane and I's wedding bands, which is iconic. That is so cool. So I went on Amazon, it's my manager's idea, and I ordered a bunch of different millimeter sizes of these gold bands. They only had a size 7 and I'm a 6, but I was like, I'm just going to try these on and probably return them anyway, because I'm not going to keep them, I don't need to wear them. So I just want to see what millimeter size I like, although does it even say it on here or I'm going to have to measure them? I don't know. Um, but we're placing the order online for our rings, so I was like, this is like the perfect way to see which size I'll like. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do a stack. I'm gonna do this and then also like a diamond band. So, let's see. Does it say on here? 14 carat. My stomach is rumbling, if you can hear that. I need to eat a little something before we start the podcast today. So, here's like the band. My self tan hands are bad because I am pushing out to get a spray tan right before we leave for my sister's wedding. So, and it's in, I'm literally getting in like two, three days. So, I'm not going to tan just to take it off. No. Um, so, we'll cover that. <laughs> Here is this one. That's a little thick, I think. And then I'm going to do like a band on top. This is just like a plain kind of band, but on top will be like a diamond kind of encrusted band. So I'm gonna do like a stack like that, but I think that one's too thick. So I'm gonna pause this, I'm gonna try them on and I'll show you which one I like. All right, decision is made. I love it. The top band will be a diamond band. I just have to go on the Amazon listing and figure out which millimeter this is because they're not labeled. So that that's gonna be a project, but hopefully I can just like put them in order and I'll figure that out. But I love it. It's like simplistic but it looks like more love all right girl is so hungry let me heat up a factor meal this one's so good shredded chicken taco bowl mm. we also have out our dinner that we're making tonight so i'm gonna cook that with you guys i'm excited chicken with hot cherry peppers it's really good i've been wanting to try it um take out the sauce and then I'm gonna do my makeup, and then Jerry will be here for the podcast. Makeup is done. I used my Giorgio Armani foundation. Armani? <laughs> my Giorgio Armani foundation, and I feel like it's really growing on me. My blowout still looks fabulous from yesterday's Dyson Airwrap, so love that. Um, Aritzia gifted me a new sweatsuit, and I was looking at what I'm gonna wear today, because I want something comfy, cute, casual, recording the pod, and then going to a dentist cleaning, which takes like an hour. And it's like really windy and cold out, so I'm like a sweatsuit. And then I was like, oh, I have this new one that I got. I was gonna save it from one of my little like ASMR unboxing videos, but I'm like, I don't wanna wait to, for more PR to accumulate, and I really wanna open this. So we're gonna do a little Aritzia unboxing together. I'm gonna have to blur that. <laughs> I'm trying not to show my address, but we're gonna need one little edit on here. Oh my god, beautiful. It comes in like this package. Okay, I'm gonna finish opening it up and then we'll open these. Okay, this is much better. Look at that little It's a horse and a and a dog. It's a horse and a dog. How cute is that? Oh my god, this is 
so cool. I'm thinking about it if I should film it on my phone too. Um, no, it's okay. Okay, we're gonna rush anyway. Jerry's gonna be here soon. So let's open it up. I got like a grayish, whitish color. I'll put the exact color it was down below because there was like two similar ones. Ooh, it's a hoodie and then like a wide leg sweatpant. I'm becoming an Aritzia girly because I'm loving the high quality stuff and Aritzia just is that girl. So we got a hoodie. I did, it's the boyfriend fit, size small. Again, I will link it down below for you guys, of course. You guys know I always link everything down below. And then I wanted a wide leg sweat. <gasps> Love, okay, I'm gonna put it on. Jerry just got here. I just finished putting it on, but so cute. You see it in the mirror? I'll show you after. Okay, we're gonna do the podcast, bye. Okay, real quick while she's using the bathroom. I think I could have maybe done an extra small actually, but I think when I put it in the dryer, it shall shrink a tiny bit, but so cute. I really love it. It's so thick and good quality, but not too thick. <gasps> 10 out of 10. All right, hello. Just got back from my uh, teeth cleaning. Bad news, I felt something in the top here, in the back, and I thought like something was stuck up there, so I was like trying to get it out with like, you know, the floss pick, the back of the floss pick thing, and then I realized it was hard, and I was like, oh, that's probably uh, a tooth. So when I went there today, she's like, anything? And I was like, oh, actually, I wanted to ask you about this. She goes in and she's like, oh, that's your wisdom tooth. Yep, so my wisdom tooth is coming in on the top and on the bottom on this side, nothing on this side yet, but I have to go get surgery to have it removed because there's no space for it. So it has to come out, which is really fun and exciting. So I'll have to go to an oral surgeon and they said, maybe see what the oral surgeon says if I should just do these preemptively. Preemptively? That's the right word, right? I think so. Yeah, like preemptively do, prematurely do these two on, the, on this side even though they're not popping through just to get it all done, but I have to do it this summer. Proactively? Proactively, yeah, something like that. But I was like, when do I have to do that? Like, I'm getting married in October, and they were like, oh, before the wedding, 100%. Yeah. Because they were like, you don't want it to like flare up or something. You look like a chipmunk. Oh, God, so. And you have to do a liquid only diet, too. For, they said, for she's like, if you did it on like a, I recommend people do it on a Friday, and then the whole weekend you have to recover. Oh. Oh, the funny yeah, ones. a big that... ass head and a big ass mouth, so I hope I don't have to have this problem. <laughs> the dentist came in and he's like, uh, you have beautiful teeth. I was like, thank you. And he's like, just one problem. Your mouth is not big. Your mouth is too small. There's no space. So, but isn't that the funny videos when people get on the laughing gas? Sometimes. My cousin just got it done. He actually, I was about to lie to him and say he got put on here, but he didn't. Did he? I don't know, but now I'll have to go to an oral surgeon, which I have like a lower tier um, dental insurance because I don't really have a lot of problems with my teeth. So I'm like, it's fine. I don't need like high tier. And then I'm like, maybe I should upgrade it before I even go to the oral surgeon. Oh, or I'll just go and see how much it'll be. She said, like, it can't be that bad, the hygienist said. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to get that done this summer. So good, we need wisdom tooth removal surgery. Anyway, something else funny happened, and I was gonna tell you guys, and I was gonna tell Zane, and I might as well tell you guys together. So I'm sitting in the parking lot after, right? And I'm on my phone, I'm like texting and stuff, and then someone pulls in next to me, and it's windy as shit today. Yeah, it's like, crazy. so windy. So she opens her door and it flings open, smashes into my door handle, and I look up, I was like, oh, like it scared the shit out of me. I was like, and she's like, oh. My door, she's like, oh, oh, the wind, the wind, the wind. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, the wind. And she had like a heavy accent. I don't know if it was like Russian or something, but I just immediately, of course, felt so bad for her, even though she hit my car. And I was like, I put my hand on her shoulder. I was like, it's okay, it's okay. And she went in her car and she got like a cleaner and she like wiped it down. It's just like a white mark on my handle, but the way that it sounded, it sounded like she bashed my whole door in. And I was like, Oh I'm like, we're leaving God. for my sister's wedding. I just did my health insurance. Now I need wisdom tooth surgery. And now my door is bashed in. 
Like, that's what I thought. Yeah. But I got out, and it, it's like a white mark on my handle, and I was like, she seems so stressed about it, and I was like, it's okay. Yeah. I'm like, it's okay, and I got my car, and I drove off, and I'm like, am I going to regret that later? Like, I should have, like, maybe made her give me a little money or something towards it, but I'm like... She seemed really upset, and I was like, I'm not going to ruin her day. It was clearly an accident. It's fine. Yeah. But it was so funny. I was just like, and what else? That was one very nice of you. I know. If that happened in my car, I would have been sick to my stomach. Maybe when you look at it, you're probably going to be like, babe. But to me, I'm like, it's ah, a mark on the handle. She went in her car and got spray cleaner and cleaned it. Like, I'm, but I'm like, I'll go look I'm, at it. Yeah, I'm like, Shirley... You or my dad can like buff it out for sure. That's what I'm thinking. Like as long as it's not like a deep scrap. No, there's like a certain criteria where it can get buffed out or it can't. Yeah. I don't know, but your dad would definitely know. I'll go look at it though. I can see how bad it is. We'll go look at it. Did that happen to my mom? No, my Type R. When I had, it. didn't something happen? And then I was like, oh, can I get buffed out? I don't remember. I don't remember either, but. Yeah, but I was oh, like, well. if I had like a nicer or newer car, yeah, I would care and I would make her fix it. But I was like, I have a 2019 Honda. This girl is stressed. Still a new car though. Like I don't actually 2020. No, I know, but it was it really wasn't bad. If my door was smashed in, I would have made her. But it really <clears throat> was not bad. No, right, right. So it yeah, was fun. but I was just like, what else do you want me to spend money on, universe? <sighs> Maybe that's your sign to get a new car. We've been talking about it. Yes, you I'll go look at it though. Yeah, we'll go look at it. Anyways, that's my stories. Thank you for listening. Okay, I wanted a nice little feel good pre-dinner snack because Zane and I are about to get a little bit of work done and then have dinner, make dinner, have dinner. What? Have dinner? <laughs> make dinner and have dinner? Unedited. Um, and we are leaving very soon for my sister's wedding. So I'm like, let me use some of the fresh stuff in the fridge. We have some romaine, red onion, feta cheese, and some Italian dressing. So I'm having like a little salad while I get some short form stuff done. Um, that was it. I think that's all I have to say. I'm just gonna get some, some work done. Okay, I changed my mind because it got way too late and i would have been rushing dinner so now i'm gonna get changed into my workout clothes and i'm gonna go to zumba tonight uh my friend is covering for someone else i usually don't go on monday nights but i'm gonna go enjoy that and then when i get back we're gonna make dinner together so i'm gonna change out of my new aritzia sweatsuit because i'm not gonna do zumba in this and i'm gonna change my athletic wear i think that next time i would go a size down actually this is a small and it's definitely super loose like, obviously you want it to be comfortable, but I think that an extra small would just give me... I mean, I don't know. I'll give you my opinion after I wash it, because I keep just tying it, like, tighter and tighter. Anywho, okay, I'm gonna go to Zumba. I'll see you after. We're back. Look how naturally pink my lips are. Isn't that crazy? Um, had such a fun time. I am in my ovulatory phase of my period which means i'm just the happiest being there will ever be <laughs> like everything's positive everything's great and everything is lovely and that's on period cycles so i had such a great time i felt amazing felt so good to exercise and as i was leaving there was an older gentleman he was playing like whatever that game is that you hit the ball on the wall and he had a lot of stuff in his hand, like the rackets and all the, like his bags and stuff. And I would always, sorry, my eyes are dry. I have to address that because I can't edit it out. Um, I'm always like holding the door for people, being nice to people, always saying thank you. I'm like very big on that. Even when I go to like a cashier or a waitress, I'm always like, thank you so much. That is very important to me. It's just something that I think everyone should be doing. So I held the door for him and he said, um, thank you. Just like, thank you. And I was like, you are so very welcome. Just like that. And then he went and held the door for me because it's like a double door. And oh, I just realized I told this story on my Instagram story and I didn't say that it was a double door. And people are probably confused. It's fine. Who cares? Um, my mind is like thinking of 500 things at once. So then he held the door for me and um, I said, thank you so much. Like something like that. 
And he's like, you're welcome. And then as we were, like, starting to, like, part ways in the parking lot, he was like, wow, you are so nice. You are so kind. Like, something like that. And it was so wholesome. And I was like, of course. And then I was like, God has spread kindness in the world. <laughs> and it was really wholesome. And I feel like I got in my car, like, oh, that was really, like, sweet. Like, a really wholesome interaction. And he was, like, so surprised at how kind I was instead of just going, thanks. You're welcome. And I feel like he also probably got in his car and was like, oh, that was really sweet. <laughs> so I thought it was really wholesome. And I was really feeling really positive. I was just talking to my friend Brenna about uh, my bachelorette trip. And I'm just so grateful for, like, the people that are in my life. And especially going to the wedding venue yesterday. I'm just, like, so excited for this chapter. And I'm so, like, I don't know. I feel like you look back and you're like, damn. Like, previous me would be so grateful and so, like, proud of themselves for, like, how far they've come and what they've gone through and the people that, you know, have come and gone in their life. And um, sometimes it's hard, but then when you look back, you're like, oh, everything happens for a reason. And, you know, whoever is meant to stay will stay or is meant to go will go, especially being a girl in your 20s. It's so normal um, and difficult. And I just feel like the older I get in my 20s, I just really focus on like quality people in my life and people that really appreciate me and um I've been chatting back and forth with another influencer that signed to my agency and she just randomly texted me today after I left my teeth cleaning saying like all of these kind things like hi just wanted to let you know you're amazing you're beautiful you're I don't know exactly what she said she might not have said that and if she's watching this hi Jasmine love you um but she just like literally just made me smile and I'm like, damn, I think 2024 is the year of being appreciated because I do feel like I genuinely pour so much into the people that are so important to me. And it's just so nice to get that energy back and to just have those words. I'm like, I think I'm like, I love to receive words of affirmation. I think it, it like means a lot to me. Um, Cause in Zane and I's relationship, I really like acts of service when he like thinks of me in like little ways like that but I think in friendships I really like words of affirmation because I personally like to tell my friends like I'm so proud of you I appreciate you you know like thank you um and so I feel like I'm finally really finding people like that in my life this year um and it's really nice it's really, really nice. I made a new friend recently. We were mutuals on Instagram and we started talking. Shout out, Courtney. Love ya. And it's just one of those friendships that just immediately we hit it off. Like, now when we FaceTime, it's literally like three, four hours of just talking. And it just feels so good to have people like that in my life. So, wow. That was a rant. But, um, yeah, if you're a girl in your 20s, uh, hopefully that helped you at all. It will always look up. Things will always get better and I mean I talk about this a lot on the podcast but I feel like every year um, you look back and you're like wow look at that growth wow who was that a year ago who was 25 year old me who was 24 23 22 like who was that I don't know because every year I feel like I just get better and wiser and uh, more intentional with the people in my life and I'm really appreciative of that and I literally could start crying right now so we're gonna stop I was listening to music in the car and I started to tear up just thinking about where I'm at in my life and how grateful I am to have such a beautiful fiance such a beautiful family we had family time this weekend and we're getting married we have such a beautiful home the people in our life like my bachelorette trip my job I just feel really really grateful for everything that I have in my life. I'm going to start crying. So I'm going to go. <laughs> Good tears. Um, I'm going to take a quick little body shower. And I'm going to make some dinner quick. It's already 9.05. Whoopsies. I want to watch the uh, third movie in the after series. I watched the second one. It was so much better than the first. And also like they're they were like years ago i think the first one came out in like 2015 or something so the most current one is 2023 i'm pretty sure so i'm like well they're definitely getting better like the second one was actually the second half of the second one i feel like was really good the first one it moved a little quick it was a little bit i don't know 
it just wasn't as good as the book but I think that they're the movies are getting better so I want to make some dinner and I want to um watch the movie with my dinner iconic so yeah, I'm gonna go do that ciao ciao oh no edits <laughs> I could just remove that whole clip but I'm gonna leave it in for you guys because that's always what I do I'm always like like that all right it's dinner time i'm in my apron because i'm sick of ruining my nice clothes so apron in it up and i've literally so many aprons why do i have so many aprons um anyways so we're making dinner <laughs> i am making from the skinny taste simple cookbook this chicken with hot cherry peppers zane so graciously sliced a chicken for me before he left for tennis today so we're all prepped there. We got some thin cutlets, flour, white wine, pepper, chicken broth, garlic, an egg, uh, two eggs, sorry, mixed with a tablespoon of water and some flour. And I'm also for filming for a short form video. But we're gonna dip the chicken in the flour and the egg and get it on the skillet. So I'm gonna move everything over there so it's less mess. But honestly, I have, uh, have I ever? I don't think I've ever like set up and cooked over here on the island. It's very nice, so much more space. I'm liking it. All right, here we go, ready? Take our chicken, light flour, quick little egg, and into the pan, two to three minutes per side. Yay, we're gonna repeat that with a piece of chicken. Let's give it a flip. Kind of smells like French toast. <laughs> Yum. It's giving French toast. <laughs> Sorry, I talked to you guys and then I talked to my phone. Now it sounds like I'm repeating myself. Goodbye. Okay. Come on. In the chicken broth, one tablespoon of flour. Whisk it up. Um, I missed the beginning step that said salt and pepper the chicken to taste. Whoopsies. Whoopsies, we're gonna do that now. All right, chicken is all done. A Little bit of olive oil in the pan. And then our garlic. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> trying to do 500 things at once. Oh my God, that already smells so good. Okay, just for like 30 seconds. Bear with me. Actually, I'm gonna stop. And we're back. Um, it smells like my garlic is burning. That escalated quickly. Um, quarter cup of white wine, three quarters cup of the cherries, no, peppers, drained. <laughs> I've got a little mix of roux here. Mine's gonna be a little more brown because I have a little bit of burnt chicken bits on here, but you know what? I couldn't be bothered because um, I'm cooking at, <laughs> our stove is clearly broken, the clock. It's 10.36 p.m. What happened to me today? I'm not sure. Okay, guys, sorry. I was filming on my phone, but that's a little behind the scenes for you. There you go. Um, what else now? The cherry peppers, white wine. That's why I called them cherries, because it says hot cherry peppers. Mine are not, though. These are different. Whatever Zane grabbed at the store. Um, cook until the liquid is reduced by half. I'm going to put the heat up a little bit and then come back to you. Okay, guys. Ready? We're gonna add in the chicken broth. Here we go. Chicken broth. Yum. Give that a little stir. It's coming together. Love that. It smells delicious. I love recipes with white 
hello i love recipes with wine i almost said white wine and then i was like wait actually i do like recipes with red wine um just recipes with wine like a wine sauce is oh so good all right we're bringing this to a boil and then two to three minutes put the chicken back in the pan 30 seconds and then we're ready okay zane just got home from tennis <laughs> it is 10 40 p.m like i need after this trip to Texas for my sister's wedding. I need to get on a better schedule. Why am I cooking at this time? Well, to be fair, I don't usually go to the gym on Monday nights. It's like not my routine. So that kind of threw me off today, but he's gonna be like, you're, don't even tell me you're done. Just done cooking right now. Losing it. Wait, I have a feeling this is gonna be really good. If you're an OG, do you remember that there was like a white wine chicken recipe I actually used to make quite often and it reminds me of this. It smells very similar. And I used to love that recipe. I haven't made it in so long. But looks so good, right? And we have leftovers for tomorrow. Well, of the chicken. This is all the <laughs> egg noodles we had left. Whoopsies. But I'm going to put the other pieces of chicken in little glass Tupperwares for us. This looks so good. Okay. We have to do... A little taste test, of course. I guess I should take this apron off. <clears throat> okay. Woo! That was fun. I had fun. I wish I did it a little bit earlier, but it is what it is. Uh, my fault, because I should have just came home after Simba and just started. But, you know, try our best. Let me cut a little piece of chicken. Get a little piece of pepper in there. Oh my god, like, hello? Struggle bus. Okay, here we go. Got a bite. Oh god, I'm gonna eat it upside down. Oh. There we go. Getting a clip from my phone, too. Okay. Taste test. Cheersies. Cheersies. Yum. Yum. Wow, that's good. I'm watching the movie and check it out. I got a Moogs, I got a Bella, and I got a Benj. All three babies. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at them now. All three. <laughs> They're so cute. This damn movie. <laughs> Oh my god, so good to be continued. <laughs> it's too late, I can't watch the next one. I have to go to bed. Oh my god, that was so good. Shit. Alrighty, what a fun filled two days. Um, that movie, the first one was the least. The, I'm so tired, was the, um, the least good, the least, I'm not sure how to word that, the first one was not as good as the others, um, second one, halfway through, iconic, the third one was so good, and I also think because I watched the first movie right after I read the first book So I was like, oh, that's not there. That's not there now that I read all the books It's all like a mishmash. So now I'm just like I'm just enjoying the movies So if you read the after series, I recommend reading all the books and then watch the movies Unless you have a better memory than me and you're like that was in book two and that was in book three and this detail and that detail If you could do that, then you'll have a different experience, but oh my god so good <sighs> It's so late now and I'm so tired and I wish I could just start the next one, but I'm so exhausted. I need to go to bed. Um, so that's gonna be it for this vlog. I feel like that was so much fun. I kind of want to do unedited more because I just feel like it gives me, um, like a good, like way to be creative and, and it's like a lot less pressure and I really enjoyed it. So Anywho's, um, today is Monday, 
um, and then we leave at the end of this week for my sister's wedding. So until then, I have so much laundry to do, computer stuff I want to catch up on so I can just really enjoy this trip. Um, I'm going to like do like a whole nice reset. I'm going to get my spray tan the night before we leave from Lauren. So I was going to be prepping over here. Nothing too exciting. Getting the house, you know, clean and ready so that we come home to a nice clean house. And then we're going to be leaving. So uh, the next time I see you guys, we'll be going to Texas for my sister's wedding. So look forward to that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.